Hello everyone, welcome to another Lord's Mobile video, and today I'm going to be covering defensive uh, strategy. Now, I did cover previously on, what do you call it, on the previous video, the one that I posted yesterday, I posted a video talking about attack strategies and different little tips that one should know, such as formations and stuff like that. And this one I'll be covering the, what you should be doing defensively. Now, defensively, the moment you, you don't have a shield, you usually want to be automatically focusing on have, making sure you have your anti scout on. If you think your anti scout is not on, make sure to check it before you unshield and always do it before being unshielded. Now, the first thing that I want, I want to tell you guys is how you want to react on different situations. So, whenever someone sends you a scout like this, um, you will see that your screen turns right and it tells you you're being scouted. The first thing you want to do is always go here and make sure to check your anti-scout is on. If it's not on, make sure to activate it right away. Because you don't want to let the let whoever is scouting you see what you have inside your castle. You never want to do that. Next. Uh, so that's pretty much for anti-scout. Following that, we have um, covering uh, what do you do when someone's marching on you. So whenever you see the arrow marching to, on you, it could be it could be anywhere from two seconds to two minutes the march. But whenever you see that happening, you automatically want to go here to to see the the report. If you have enough time, make sure you are you you have your war talents on, and make sure you have your gear on in, unless you're baiting. But if you see the march is coming, and you have enough time, click uh, click it to see what they're sending. When you see what they're sending. Make sure you're you're counter with your front lines because usually people send them with, ooh, Master Pug one. Oh, Kingdom Tycoon. All right, how much how much did our Master Pug one then by recording? Twelve hundred, twelve thousand five hundred. Congrats, Pug. Congrats. Okay, so back to defending. Whenever you see someone attacking and you see you you can check what they're sending depending on the level of your watchtower. But you usually want to counter it with a phalanx. So they were sending R range. You go to, straight into your phalanx and swap it to infantry phalanx, so you can counter counter it. So we like their range will be attacking your infantry, and that way you don't take lo as many losses as you would any other way. Now, of course, when you're already when you're, since you since you're being scouted and attacked, you know your shield is down, and since you know your shield is down. You should know that you should be in war talents. So your talents should be war focused, especially right now during KVK, that's what you're planning to do. And your gear should be on unless you're baiting as a trap. And if you're baiting as a trap, you know you already have a front line, so you, this, you, will, you will be skipping this step as a front line. And you'll be checking the timer of how long they have to march on you, and then you will go into your gear to, to change your gear you, if you have enough time you will change your formation as well if that's possible so you want to make sure you change into gear and you have your ward talents before it doesn't happen so you don't have to spend extra time in case it's a four second march if it's a four second march you want to have your your talent on you want to have your frontline information already never do cap frontline because that's just the weakest frontline there is the reason for it being the weakest frontline is because whenever it's being attacked, cap are the fastest troop there is. So they will be going up front. That they'll be dealing with the attackers first, and then the archers will get in there a couple a couple minutes later. And the infantry are still going to be slowly coming up. And infantry counters range, which is the counter for cap. So the infantry coming up late means that if you get countered, you you won't be able to counter back any um, for a while. So you'll be taking a lot of damage. Now that's when you're being attacked, so that's how you should be reacting. You should make sure you before you even get attacked, before you even get scouted, make sure you have your anti scout on, make sure you have your war tenants on if you you're planning to war and take a hit, and and then make sure you have a as well as a little as a little quick swap with your gear that you're gonna be using, so it's a lot easier instead of having to swap each and every piece one by one. You're gonna make sure that like I mentioned, anti. And all that stuff, if you're being scouted, just make sure you're anti scout on. If you're being attacked, make sure you see what they're, att they're attacking with and then change formation. So, when someone sets a rally on you, you see, first see, like someone has a, has a clear ra a rally on your ally, right? So, then you go back in here 
you make sure to see what timer the rally is and you see since this I set up as a 10 minute timer for myself you, that means you have 10 minutes to do everything you need to do before taking a hit you're acting like you're afk you change gear to the very end okay so since you're gonna since you're seeing that you're being shield that you're being rallied and you have enough time you always want to make sure you have your talents on so that's the main thing you want to check out your your gear it's up to you what you want to do with it you want to change into more defensive gear i mean to war gear right now you want to bait it out if you want for them to for them for your change it when it's marching since you want to eat it you know, it depends on your troop comp and your stats. You know you cannot take a rally. Don't take a rally. Don't even ask for reinforcements. It will be wasteful. It will be costing your guild on a, on a lot of troops, and it will be just free kills for the uh, for the whoever's attacking you. If if you are gonna be taking the rally, make sure to check what's reinfor what's entering the rally from them, like who's joining, and then you can tell by the speed of the march. And whoever's marching towards it you can tell whether if it's super slow it could be an infantry rally if it's a, if it's super fast it will be calf, a calf rally and then if it's moderate speed it will be a range rally so you would know what phase you want to counter with if possible and what reinforcement you will need to ask if you're trying to take the rally if you're not trying to take the rally you can hide all your troops i recommend hiding all your troops now what do I mean by hiding all your troops so there are different ways you can hide all your troops the most common one is you send them out to tiles, but that can be easily countered with Noceros, which is not a really good, nice thing. So the other thing would be the most safest way is entering rallies from your guild and most pro most prominent uh, darkness rallies. So if your if your guild has several players online that have that have shields on or that can take a rally, you can port away from them so that you don't need to. So when it comes to Oh, being rallied. If you can handle your troops, it's recommended for you to hide your troops and let them hit an empty castle. So you hide them, you send them into darkness rallies. By doing so, you first port somewhere far, if you want for it to be far. If not far, it doesn't matter. Have your allies port right around you. Make them set rallies on darkness. You set a rally on the darkness. Because, and by dark, the reason I say darkness is because a darkness rally if you have the research complete and the military command, you can send an extra 50,000 uh, troops to it. And if you pop a army size boost, you can uh, that stacks up even more. And besides sending the uh, sending troops to those rallies, you can't if you can't fi finish hiding those with all your armies. You can just wait it out, make them think that they can rally you, and make them waste their speeds on it. If not, they're just gonna castle. Another place you can hide your troops here is in the shelter. In case you have all your armies and filled up and you already and you don't have enough uh, troops, and you still have more troops to sh to to hide, this would be the place to hide them, because you you're able to hide a lot more troops, especially if you have research completed for it. With research and the familiar, so that'll be the way to hide troops in case you got rally and you cannot take the rally. Another thing you can do if you can if once you can hide all your troops, you can if you have no troops that you can actually. Need to worry about such as like putting them inside your you can hide them all in your shelter if you have that, that little amount of troops you can wait till the army is about to march so like one of the armies like at four seconds you can find the furthest point away so like with me since i'm in this side i can either port to the top left right corner or the top left corner of the map P port there if, and then wait for it to march and then you can just move away or if you can shield I will port away the moment it starts marching shield and then port away again so whoever is rallying you they have to wait on the walk time from over here all the way back to wherever you are being rallied from that's if they don't cancel when you port away if they do cancel perfect you don't need to worry about taking your rally so that's how what you should be really working on for when you're defending that's what you should be thinking about whether you can take the rally whether you cannot take the rally Who's rallying you? What they're sending to the rally? Can you hide your troops? Can you take? Uh, can you shield? Are you in fury? There's a lot of little things you can think about when defending. There's just little uh, things you need to focus on when you're when you're doing your best to not get a zero, especially right now that KVK is coming around in a couple of hours. I hope you guys are ready for it, and I hope this video makes it out before then. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.